Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jason Matthew. This is the video we are uh, going to continue uh, where we stopped last time, uh, last video uh, in uh, Flex Connect uh, operating models. So this one uh, is the second part of it. Um, we will be covering the rest of the Flex Connect uh, operating model scenarios in this video. Let's get started. Let me bring back the AP. Okay, so now our, okay, so here uh, you can see uh, this particular message. Uh, that's why I was waiting for. Uh, so we actually, uh, the timer got kicked in and uh, is actually all the APs got uh, removed from the system. And you can see uh, there is no AP connected back to the system. Now we uh, brought back that VLAN back. Uh, let's see how uh, this AP is going to connect back to the WLC. Okay, now uh, our AP is connected back. Show AP summary, we can see that AP. Now let's go and change the WLAN configuration. Now let's go to WLAN, WLAN 1 then this is the only configuration we are going to enable now so that is flex connect local switching so this is the feature that allows the wlan to do a local switching on your flex connect mode ap okay i'm going to enable this when you enable this you now you can uh, see that uh, this particular uh, client got disconnected and uh, connected back and it's able to pass the traffic so now um, this ap is functioning on flex connect mode and your uh, client uh, is also connected to an WLAN uh, with a Flex Connect local switching enabled. Let's see the same on the AP side. So we will just use show Flex Connect WLAN. So now, um, so here now you can see this particular SSID got changed to local switching. So the switching got changed to local. But the authentication is still central so we will we will come back to that model uh, of switching and all but right now this particular uh, ssid got changed to local switching okay so when we say local switching you have to uh, keep one more thing in the mind what is the wlan vlan mapping between this vlan uh, between this uh, local switching right so when you do local switching last video i talked about how the sub interfaces are created on IS, iOS AP, and the same way how this WLAN is mapped to your VLANs in the background. The command show flex connect WLAN VLAN will show you the mapping. So right now you can see this particular uh, WLAN, the WLAN one. Uh, so for um, in WLC it's uh, WLAN one. But in case of AP, it's starting from zero, not from one. So you have to consider the WLAN one on WLC is a WLAN zero on a Flex Connect mode AP. So uh, just, a, just a point you can keep it. Okay, so uh, here a WLAN zero is mapped to VLAN ID triple one. And uh, this is not an AP specific configuration. So basically you have a uh, default uh, Flex Connect group. I'll, I'll talk about that later. Uh, but uh, right now, this particular uh, SSID is mapped to VLAN ID triple uh, one. As you can see here, this particular uh, client is connected to PSK SSID, and it's actually got an IP address of 10 network, and that 10 network IP is coming from VLAN triple one. Let's go and change this triple one, um, the VLAN ID uh, from triple uh, one to something else. Okay, so for that, you have to again go back to uh, WLC, and you can go to wireless. You can go to uh, Flex Connect group. As you can see here, uh, we have only one group that is a default Flex group. So from the latest, uh, from um, in latest uh, releases, uh, we have uh, a default Flex Connect group. By default, you will have a uh, Flex Connect group. So when you go into when you go into uh, Flex Connect AP inside the group, you can see that. Um, you can see that uh, default group have one AP. As you know, we have a default AP group, right? The same way we have the uh, default flex kind of group also works in the background. If you have an AP that is not part of any other uh, dedicated or specific uh, flex connect group, 
it will be participating in the default flex connect group so as you can see here our ap is participating in this one because we don't have a specific group for this now uh, let's go and uh, see the vlan mapping so as you can see here uh, there is no vlan mapping uh, done on this particular uh, flex connect group if you don't have any vlan mapping on your flex connect group the default configuration will be taken from the ssid point of view so as you can see here you have a wlan id and you have interface map to management and when you go to uh, management interface you have a vlan identifier as triple one that means this is the vlan id going to be used on vlan id one until you map it with a different one so this is how the mapping is happening in the background so we'll go back to the flex connect group and we will change this one um, in the SSID, uh, so SSID VLAN mapping, okay? VLAN, WLAN VLAN mapping, basically. Okay, so yeah, before we change, I'll, I'll uh, stress one more thing, uh, the same thing and the CLI, uh, you can see that it's mapped to triple one. So this triple one is coming from uh, WLAN, okay? Now we are going to change that. Now I want WLAN one is mapped to VLAN seven. So I'm going to change it and I'm going to add it. So I added, I added that uh, VLAN mapping has gone back to the general page. So as you can see here, my PSK WLAN ID one got mapped to VLAN seven. So this is the mapping I did. I'm going to apply this. When I apply this one, you can see there is something happen on the, uh, uh, the uh, sorry, AP side. Okay, so it's actually, taken out the uh, uh, client, basically it's DOD indicator decline. Now we can see that this particular client is able to ping seven network IP and this network IP. And let me show you the IP config. Now you can see this AP, this particular client got an IP from seven range. Okay, so how, how this works in the background, right? So how it happened in the background. So what we did, we did a WLAN VLAN mapping on Flex Connect Group and we got that mapping changed here. Let's see what happened on the AP side. So as you can see here, the SSID got changed. The WLAN zero, now it's mapped to VLAN ID seven. When it got mapped to VLAN ID seven, the same got reflected on the client side, okay? So we are talking about uh, one SSID, that is PSK. PSK is uh, enabled with local switching. In the local switching, we change the VLAN into um, uh, VLAN into seven, and it's actually got an IP address from seven network. So as you can see here, seven network, and it's able to ping the seven IP. Till now, it was not able to ping any seven because it was part of triple one uh, as a VLAN. Okay, now uh, this one is working fine. Now we are going to do the same testing that we disconnect the AP uh, from WLC, and let's see what happens to the clients here. Okay, so now this AP is connected with the WLC. It's in, um, let's see, show flex connect status. Okay, so as you can see here, it's on connected mode and it's able to serve the clients with the VLAN mapping and everything. Now let's disconnect this guy from the WLC, okay? Okay, now I shut down my VLAN and it should get disconnected from the VLAN, uh, from the WLC. So you will be able to see the message uh, on the AP side. We uh, we actually disconnected that, so okay. So now you can see that uh, this particular guy got disconnected, the transmission uh, tries are done. Now it's gone into Flex Connect standalone mode. Let's see the uh, status, show Flex Connect status. It shows that, okay, this AP is, um, AP is uh, in standalone mode, okay? Now uh, you don't have any communication between AP and uh, WLC, but still you can see this 10 network is disconnected because uh, it's actually, we brought down that VLAN seven, only through VLAN seven, you'll be able to access that triple uh, one VLAN. 
so that routing part is down that's the reason we are not able to ping this ip don't get confused uh, because uh, we actually brought down the entire uh, vlan uh, inside that but here we are actually pinging our own ap and we are not going out of that broadcast domain and we are able to still ping that particular uh, ap so don't get confused why it's not able to uh, reach this guy okay now we can see our ap is in standalone mode controller is not connected to ap anymore but still the clients are able to pass the traffic so this is how the flex connect mode works in the background we have multiple other uh, switching methods and all but this is the basic functionality until this client got session timed out it will be able to continue with this um, uh, communication because it's there is nothing to do with the wlc because the data packets are getting switched locally on the ap side so uh, you can see that show ap summary you don't have any aps here you can see this particular uh, flex connect status is standalone mode still your client is able to pass the uh, traffic so client will be able to pass the traffic until the session timeout and uh, once the session timeout uh, kicks in this client will be kicked out from the network because you have the uh, wlan is configured with uh, central authentication as you can see this is on central authentication means for authenticating any new client you need wlc after the authentication you don't need wlc because it's uh, it's locally switched so this is what happening here on this client and uh, until it got session timeout as i said uh, earlier until it got session timeout it will be able to pass the traffic so this is the basic concept of flex connect mode in connected mode or standalone mode and how this one is going to impact your client so we are going to stop this uh, uh, this video here uh, basically we covered uh, both the operating uh, models of flex connect mode the connected mode and the flex uh, standalone mode and uh, the later part we will uh, cover this combination uh, the central switching local switching and all right now we covered one model uh, but uh, we have multiple other uh, scenarios in flex connect so we'll st uh, stop this video here we'll uh, come back with uh, another video for uh, talking about the operational switching models that is available on flex connect thank you for watching